a constant question and issue, Corona or V-Ray? Which rendering engine is really better? Both are the most popular rendering engines, but choosing which one is really better is a very difficult task. In this video, we try to have a categorized comparison of the latest versions of both engines so that you can find the right option more easily. Time is one of the most important factors for choosing a rendering engine. So let's start the comparison with this factor. The scene you see has the same conditions for both rendering engines. The rendering settings have not changed and only a denoiser has been added for both. When we are working on a project, it is very important to see the result during the rendering test as soon as possible. Let's see which rendering engine is faster in rendering IPR and showing the result. You can see that Corona showed the result in 10 seconds and V-Ray in 18 seconds. So Corona works faster in this field. Also, sufficient details, light and shadow in the final renderings are essential to us. We render this scene with both rendering engines in the same conditions and compare them in two stages of 10 and 40 minutes. After 10 minutes, Corona has passed 7 and V-Ray has passed 38 passes. As you can see, the quality is very different at this time. After 40 minutes, Corona still has an output with more details. V-Ray has achieved a better result than before, but it is still not acceptable and the details can only be seen by turning off the denoiser. The texture of the wood and the carpet is completely lost in V-Ray due to the presence of denoiser and we should consider more time for the quality. The lights in Corona are softer and have a better feel, but V-Ray is better in the background. Colors also feel better in Corona. Of course, you can achieve the same result as Corona in V-Ray by correcting the color and light, but you can achieve better results in Corona with a faster speed whether in IPR rendering or final rendering. In the frame buffer, the story is different. The frame buffer in V-Ray is like a complete Photoshop and the color and light control is completely in your hands. Functional masks like CryptoMat in V-Ray can make you not need other software and have all corrections on every object in the frame buffer. Masks can also be created in Corona, but they must be used in Photoshop. Seeing different backgrounds in the frame buffer is another positive feature of V-Ray. In this way, you can quickly test different skies. One of the most attractive features of V-Ray compared to Corona is real zoom in IPR rendering you can see the textures in the highest quality and make corrections. Also, the chromatic layer in V-Ray renders an attractive effect. In Corona, to see the result with real resolution, you have to take the rendering region from it. Working with light mix in Corona gives you a more interesting experience. You can easily move the applied colors between different lights and see the result, and you don't need to adjust each separately like V-Ray. Light compression in Corona is performed by ACES by default, and it can be said that it has an exceptional performance. The burning outside and next to the window says it all. Let's see some other things together. We start with Corona. Corona Lister is much more complete than V-Ray and you can control things like displace and proxy in it. The addition of Corona Power Tool can be useful in speeding up projects. With its help, objects can be randomly moved and rotated and even replaced with another object. If you are interested, you can get acquainted with the latest features of Corona through the above link.
It can also be mentioned the addition of Corona multiple input in Corona Color, Correct, Tree Planner, and Randomizer, which can be used to create similar settings for several maps and see the result quickly. There are other exclusive items, such as Corona Tile and CDCAL, that provide us with more settings. But V-Ray and its most attractive features compared to Corona. The most important feature of V-Ray is the ability to use GPU, which allows you to quickly reach the output if you have a powerful graphics card. In Corona, you need an expensive CPU. In this regard, you can use the popular software these days, Chaos Vantage, which only works with V-Ray Engine and GPU. This factor has made many people go back to V-Ray. Of course, capturing high-speed animation is one of the most important things for choosing a rendering engine. These days, V-Ray is trying to interact with many software like Enscape and attract many people. Regarding the rendering time, it can be said that Corona has a faster speed and a better result, but V-Ray also provides many tools so that we can better control the rendering time and output. Frame buffer is much more practical in V-Ray, and we can see the final result in one software. Each of the rendering engines has its own unique features that can be selected depending on the user's needs. Regarding the rendering quality, it is not possible to give a definite result, but my personal opinion is that Corona works more successfully in interior and close-up renderings, and V-Ray in exterior and large-scale renderings. Also, Corona's user interface is much more attractive than V-Ray, and is completely user-friendly, but besides that, you can't pass Chaos Vantage and animation. One of the other most important factors is the cost that you have to pay, which by looking at the list, you can see that Corona has a lower price than V-Ray. In general, the choice of which rendering engine is better depends on the user. Many users choose it depending on their needs in each project, but if you want my opinion, I think Corona is the best rendering engine because it brings me to the desired result faster. Thank you for being with us. I hope this video is useful for you in choosing a rendering engine. Don't forget to like and comment for support. Be sure to sub us. Bye until the next tutorial.